So we're now going to show you how to work with a Type 1 indicating tool, in this case the Norbar Nortronic. We've already created the template and the tool, so we can select. In this case it's the 50 Nm device, the 43501. We can add this to our tool list. We can now select a conformance or a calibration. In this case, it's a conformance, which is the ISO part one. We're going to do as found clockwise direction. So we're going to select. We're now in a position to press play and that will take us to our workflow screen. So we're going to select conformance index 6.5 from the standard. Press play to the control screen. This is where we're going to load our torque wrench to 50 Newton meters. We're going to press ready. From the control screen, we can press the auto load button. This will take us to within a nominal 80% of our target torque. We can then insert the manual drive gear and adjust our wrench to its set value, which in this case is 50 Newton meters. Once set, remove our manual drive gear. You're now at the control screen and we can take this reading. For the preloads, this is repeated three times. To remove the torque, we back off and we stop. We're now in a position to either restart that stage if, for example, we've understood there's been an error, or we can once again press auto load and we will be taken to within that nominal 80%. Inserting our manual drive gear, once again, we're winding our Nortronic to give us that 50 Newton meter value. We can take a reading. Once we've taken the free preloads, we can return to zero, press next stage. The TWC is now asking for a zero check to be performed. You should remove the torque wrench. Tool is removed. You're now being asked to commence the first stage of the calibration run. The target is now 10 Newton meters. Press ready. Reinstall your torque wrench. Again, auto load will take us within a nominal 80% of our target. We will once again use the manual drive gear to obtain our 10 Newton meter reading on the torque wrench. We then return to the TWC control screen. As we're working in a clockwise direction, this would be unloading the torque wrench, and this would be loading the torque wrench. We're going to unload to release the load from the torque wrench. Once we return to zero, we will press stop. We're now going to auto load, which will take us within 80% of our nominal target. We're going to repeat this four more times. So once five of five has been captured, we can now move on to the next stage where we're going to aim for a target of 30 Newton meters and press ready. Press auto load. This will take us within a nominal 80% of that value. And once again, using the manual input drive gear, we're going to take our wrench to 30 Newton meters. We now return to the control screen where we can take that reading. We're gonna come home, stop our wrench at zero. By pressing auto load, we're gonna repeat that process four times. So we're now in a position to either restart that stage, we can move on to the final part of the process, which would be our full scale. In this case, 50 Newton meters. We can press ready. 
And again, auto load will take us within 80% or a nominal 80% of that target value. We can then install the manual drive gear and drive our wrench to 50 newton meters. Once at 50 newton meters, we can come back to our display screen where we can take the 50 newton meter reading. Again, we're returning home, pressing the stop button and repeating this exercise four times to complete the declaration of conformance. We can restart the stage if a mistake's been made. We're gonna to go to the next stage. We can continue, retry the last or cancel this task. We've continued. On this screen, we can back off if, for example, we've been left with some residual torque on the rig. The job is now complete. We can now press OK to generate our documentation, or we can press Later and print those documents at a later date. This is our declaration of conformance. What we are now seeing is the model, serial number, date, and the results.